Speaker. Uh, join us now, Marty Burns. Marty, how are you? Uh, good, thanks, Peter. Oh, good. good. Yeah, good to you. Good day to you too. Uh, the abandonments, Rickard and Wipar. Uh, there. What was the actual Rickard and story? Uh, the Marty, we they were talking about grass on the track, the track being mowed and things like this. Uh, have you uh, had a, a bit of a debrief on all that? Um, look, um, we haven't got any um, specific indication on that. It's um, it was a surprise to us, really, and and to the club. Um, Tim Mills has uh, informed us they during a review just to understand all the um, actions that were taken in prepping the track, um, and that'll be completed, and we'll be informed of that once that's been done. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it wasn't one of those ones that um, had any obvious um, cause that sort of leapt out at us. It was. Um, Weren't they saying there was cut grass on the track on that uh, where where it was all happening? Um, no, look, I haven't heard that. Oh, okay. Um, I can't, well, I've heard comments made, but um, that hasn't been sort of confirmed as being the cause of it. Mm. Um, and you know, obviously the the race uh, the race meeting was concluded yesterday in good conditions. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so it, um, it, they'll be um, racing again on the twenty seventh of October. Um, look, uh, we don't have any particular concerns, but the review will mm. be interesting to yeah. understand. Um, any background detail. And Waipa, what was the story there in the end? Um, seems to be areas of inconsistent grass type um, and just in, just in areas of the track around the 800, 600 uh, and around and then another smaller area around the 400 metre mark. Um, and the um, the horses just seem to be punching through the ground at that, that area. So um, we've been in touch with the club through Gary Foskett. Uh, the plan there will be... Um, some additional row grass seeding. They're going to move the rail um, for some trials next week. Uh, but, so they're going to vertebrate drain inside the nine metre rail for the trials, and then after the trials, they'll vertebrate drain the remainder of the track. Um, again, uh, they'll be racing again on the 31st of October, and um, you know, at this stage, no concerns, mm. uh, provided you know, the maintenance is carried out that we're um, that's now planned it. Speaking of work on tracks, Otaki, they've been out of action for a while. What, what um, work was done there at Otaki? Yeah, they had a couple of major parts. Um, they had a um, drainage work done from about 1,500 to the 800. Uh, so that uh, has remedied a lot of inconsistencies around the back straight. Um, in addition to that, they had inconsistent grass types um, around the full extent of the track. So that was all um, in February last year. That was a, a full renovation was done on the track. So... Um, the, the ryegrass has um, grown back really, really well. It, it, um, there was gallops on there last Wednesday. It had 20 horses gallop um, with some senior riders. Everyone was really happy with it. Um, Gary Foskett was there. The RIU were there. Um, and it was um, well, really good in terms of the, the turnout. Like uh, Kevin Morris put a couple of trucks down there and um, provided the horses along with some other trainers. So, I mean, that... It was um, good. yeah a, a, a good good result there for the club and again we're confident that they're racing again on Sunday the 21st and um, should be a really good track. And uh, the update uh, with the T Rapa the work that has been done there at T Rapa. Yes, so T Rapa there was sort of a, some minor works done there just to remedy some of the issues around um, uh, kickback, uh, trying to remove some of the sand that's on top. Um, the uh, it's sort of been done in two sections. There's a meter. Uh, tw the 18 metre rail move for the freeze up. So inside that 18 metre area, there was some um, more more um, more work done. But on the outside area, it didn't need as much, and that's going to be. Um, I know NZB have been there, and they're really happy with the state of the track for the freeze ups. Mm. Um, NZTR was just uh, yesterday with the RIU looking at the remainder of the track. Um, again, we're happy with how it's progressing. That's um, resumption there on the 22nd of October. Um, there's going to be some horses gallop um, today, tomorrow, I think, and uh, we'll just make sure that it's going to be sort of coming back well. Mm, and we'll that, that's our expectation anyway. And then we've so. got Alice Lee as well. Looks pretty good too. A grass taken well. Horses galloping A-OK -okay there. So Alice Lee all coming together and a stabling area there. So uh, things yeah. all coming together, which is great. Yeah, well, it's good to have those tracks back in order and, um, you know, the, uh, you know, with well-presented tracks is what we need. So, um you know, it's all good news. Mm, very, very good news here. Yeah. Uh, I think, Marty, when I had you on a while ago, uh, they haven't spoken to you for a little while, uh, we spoke about the equine ambulances uh, there um, quite a while ago. Are there, is there any update on what's happening there? Yeah, yeah, no. We're, we've, um, through, uh, it's probably a year ago that we chatted about that. 
since that time, we've had uh, practically nearly all the funds we need for the first five ambulances raised through uh, donations and sponsorship. Uh, the first ambulance is um, just about off on the road now. Um, it's going to go through a bit of uh, road testing and field testing, but it will be um, at the 2000 Guineas meeting at Canterbury, and, that, and we're looking to sort of do a, a sort of a, a launch function there for that particular ambulance. Uh, that one has been uh, provided to the industry with a generous donation from Kevin and Joe Hickman for Valachi Downs, so um, we're really grateful to them. Um, the second ambulance will be, the expectations are that will be delivered to Auckland in time for the Boxing Day meeting. Oh, um, and again, we'll be looking to sort of uh, provide recognition to the sponsors and donors there. For, and for that oh. one, it's um, Charlie Roberts and New Zealand Bloodstock were the ones who um, have oh, provided the backing to it. So we like, you know, the... The, mm. the Horse Ambulance trustees are just, just super grateful to all these people that have put their hands in their pockets to support this mm. really great initiative. Oh, good stuff. Uh, there, we're not too far away from this first coming out of Taupo, so plenty of good racing coming up. We had uh, Rickett and mm. Park, as you were talking about, a lot of good racing happening there. We've come out of the carnival uh, there at uh, Hawke's Bay, when it's oh so well talk, spoke to Andrew a little earlier on when you're doing a million dollars on course. You're going pretty well, aren't you? Oh, yeah, mm. really successful meeting. Congratulations to Hawke's Bay for the Spring Carnival this year. It's just been it's been really well conducted and some, some great great performances on the track as well. Oh, good stuff. Okay, Marty, we'll let you go. Thanks for joining us, uh, touching on a few things, especially those tracks, a good catching up with what's going on there uh, around the country. Yep, thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Right, just starting to load them forward, the first of the day.